everyone, welcome to today's vlog. Now, I keep filming these and I keep just not posting them. I have this weird like thing at the moment where I'm like, no, I can't post it, but like why? Anyway, good morning. I am trying to decide if I'm gonna have a normal breakfast or if I'm gonna make a pizza pilgrim's pizza for breakfast today because I got really kindly sent a set from um, like the L'Oreal group uh, of pizza pilgrims stuff and yeah i think i might make it for breakfast we're going to norfolk tonight so i don't know if we'll oh we are having dinner maybe i'll have it for dinner i feel like that's more reasonable because it is a pizza we'll do that for dinner so yeah i'm gonna make myself some breakfast good morning I have a lot to catch up with you on um but yeah it's weird because i've vlogged like four or five days and just not posted them so i'm like oh they know about this but they don't, so I need to fill you in. This is what was in the set. I mean, obviously, I got the Pizza Pilgrims set as well. And then they sent me some little party plates, which are pink, and some napkins. A pick and mix. And then this kind of booklet, which has got a bunch of their products. It says 80% of 16 to 34 year olds are excited to wear makeup after lockdown. It's time to get your game face on and make up for what we've missed. And yeah, it's just a bunch of their kind of hero products. So we have the True Match. We have this like awesome NYX eyeshadow palette. We have a Maybelline eyeshadow palette. Some Essie nail polish. I like, love this green one. I'm so into green at the moment. Um, these new Maybelline glosses, which are literally the best thing in the world. I adore these. I have one in my bag at all times. We have the Maybelline Sky High. L'Oreal True Match Concealer. This is the eye cream and concealer one, really good. What else have we got? The Unbeliever Brow. Just a bunch of bits, which is so lovely of them. They sent out some little cocktails, which are really sweet, actually. They're tiny. And what have we got? This is a Peach for the Stars Cosmopolitan. Takes two to mango margarita. So they're margaritas and... Um, yeah, Cosmopolitans, which I just thought was really sweet and they're presented so nicely. And then this is the kind of Pizza Pilgrim's instruction leaflet, which is just so pretty. Whoever did this and did all the graphics for this, you smashed it because it looks awesome. Um, so yeah, and then the fridge, I just, let me, let me show you. Honestly, they've gone all out. Even the boxes are customized L'Oreal Group boxes. It's so cool, look. So you get the, dough we've got the tomato sauce we've got some basil parmesan this is mushroom cheese and then this is some flour and yeah there's just a bunch of instructions so i'm going to do that actually for my dinner but i'm very excited as you can tell it's the first thing i thought about this morning i'm actually a massive pizza pilgrims fan i went to no i didn't go the first time i went back into the office we ordered in and um like occasionally they put these little cards in your pizza and it's like you win something and i got a free pizza so i have a free pizza pilgrim's pizza just like little card things stuck in my purse i haven't used it yet but yeah very big fan of the pizza i like it a lot also are we going to talk about how puffy the hair turned out from the dressing ground trick i'm trying not to put too much heat on it not for any particular reason like it's not damaged or anything but just you know the general hair health and um yeah i decided to do this method like it's a gorgeous curl my hair just goes so puffy so if you have any tips i really appreciate it but i mean obviously it'll calm down throughout the day maybe i shouldn't have brushed through it so vigorously but i mean what are my other options you know it needed smoothing and it's just gone puff so i'm gonna have to figure out what i'm gonna do with that because it doesn't look very good but let's make a coffee i also have something else very exciting to share with you honestly I think just during lockdown, I just had nothing to say for myself because there was nothing going on. And now this thing's going on, I'm like, oh, I can vlog again. So I ordered some new protein bars. These are my favorite ones, Misfits. I saw Anna Archer talking about them and I was like, okay, I'm sold. And yeah, I had like the variety pack initially so I could like figure out what I liked. But this is this like limited edition one that I've done. I've opened them up, but I haven't tried them yet. They're peanut butter and jelly. They did like a lotus one previously, limited edition, that I didn't, didn't order and I didn't try and I really regretted it. So when I saw these came out, I ordered them because they are plant-based, 
they are 15 grams of protein some of them have 16 grams of protein they're and they're super low sugar that's the main thing for me um having someone with, like diabetes in my family i'm just you know very aware of that so uh, I'm excited to try these. I'll try them with you later when I have one. But yeah, I just thought they looked amazing and they actually taste so good. I, I can't do like chalky protein stuff. Not my thing. Like, I'm just not gonna have it. I'd rather have, you know, my protein from elsewhere. I'd rather have like a tin of tuna. Love a tin of tuna. But yeah, they're really, really good and I'm excited to try a new flavor. So I'm gonna go drink my coffee and get on with my admin. I managed to fix the hair. Basically, I just put a ton of hair oil on. I don't know if you saw earlier, but I had dry shampoo in the top. I need to curl this bit here, but I just curled the literally the couple front bits and the few bits under here with my straighteners. I mean, there's still a few bits that are a bit kind of frizzy looking, but I'll fix those. But yeah, I'm much happier. It looks much better. It's less crazy. Um, I mean, from the side, it doesn't look the best, but if we just look from the front, it's fine. So I'm off to shoot some things in this outfit for a really exciting upcoming campaign. Um, these shorts are so cool. They come with a matching top. And yeah, I'm like, it's for a um, campaign I have coming up with a brand, which is very exciting. The shorts aren't like part of the thing. I just chose them <laughs> and I'll link them. They're from ASOS. Um, but yeah, I really like them, they're super comfy and I wore them when it was really hot yesterday and they were perfect. I mean, obviously I've folded the waistband over, but they're really cool. And yeah, I'm all about kind of easy, you know, easy shorts. I'm trying to wear some different things. I've had this whole realization that like, you know, I <laughs> need to like actually put some effort into like what I look like. Um, no, like no wonder I don't feel that good because I, uh, not trying. <laughs> like you know you just like have that moment where you're like Emily you get ready to go out and you feel like you have nothing to wear and you don't feel good in what you're wearing so why don't you fix it like I don't know I had words for myself literally last night so yeah I do like this though I like I felt really good in this got all ready to film and I can't film it so my day is just not going to plan so I'm making the pizza for my lunch because I need a bit of a pick me up so this is what we're working with. I've just had to put the flour on the surface. There's all the instructions here. It says remove the dough ball, coat it, stretch the dough, and put it in the preheated frying pan. Now I don't have a frying pan that's oven safe and I have to put it under the grill. So I'm literally, I've taken the grill out and I'm using that. That looks way too hot, it's smoking. Don't overwork the dough. Okay, cool. like super straightforward mm. the sauce smells amazing and I'm gonna sprinkle some parmesan wow that's a big chunk and a couple puzzle leaves so it says transfer it across to the grill when the base has some color I mean it has color but how much color does it need? This actually looks epic. I've never made pizza like this. I know that's perfect. Right, let's pop it under. So it says, when the crust has a good color um, and char and bubbles, your, your pizza's ready to eat. So I just literally have to wait until it looks like it's doing something. That chunk of um, Parmesan's criminal. <laughs> so this is my finished pizza. This looks absolutely incredible. I just brushed the edges with some garlic oil that I had because yeah, I quite like having some garlicky crusts, but this looks epic and it was so amazing. easy. And this is only half the kit. There's another one and then I've got, yeah, oh I've got enough for three more pizzas. Okay, that gets a solid 10 out of 10 from me. I'm going to put the rest of it here in the fridge and eat it cold because I kind of prefer cold pizza. I'm the type of person that will have half and then like purposely save half to eat cold. Hello! So today has got so much better <laughs> it started great and then uh you know when you plan to do something and it just gets so knocked off course but it's friday it's been productive so we're good i have just got my bits back from um my seamstress so i had a bunch of shorts and things that didn't fit me so she has taken them in she said to me she went some of the pockets are going to be very close together i was like it's literally fine i just want them to fit me around the waist so uh, i got this pair done from another story is that zara pair this other zara pair which these are identical 
right? I've got identical sizes, they're just different colours. And um, I had to get an extra inch taken out of the white one than the black one, just because of, like, how weird is that? Even though they're, um, yeah, exactly the same. So this is the other pair and other stories once you can see where she's kind of done it down the back i actually like the extra detail though i remember seeing madison beer wearing a pair of jeans that had the detail down the back and i was like it actually kind of looks sick like i know it's it's there because they've been altered but i think it looks cool and then she took up this new dress that i got from um and other stories because we all know i don't do mid-length dresses I do short or I do long okay let's try these on these ones i'm really excited about oh my goodness they are perfect like i actually can't do you know how nice it is to wear some denim shorts that aren't gaping and baggy like and that still fit me round hip oh my gosh mum oh my gosh these are... ah, i'm gonna wear these every day she's doing a good job isn't she she's had to take a lot out right do you know she's so good she's really good oh my gosh how much better do they look yeah she's done a really good job Oh, I'm so happy. Nice. Really nice. She has done a good job. It feels so good. They look great. These That's are really soft denim. So quick as well. So quick. Yeah, she did this in like three, four days. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just am not the type to wear a belt. I'm just, I don't have really nice belts. I don't want to invest in a really nice belt because they always age really quickly and get ruined and it's just not what i wanted to do i wanted my things to fit and they fit oh i'm so so happy i have no idea so i'm fresh out of the shower i worked out i've packed and i'm in my travel outfit which is literally so random i've got this essentials jumper on i've then got my mango jeans and then my Books. and i need to grab my stuff and head out i've got so much stuff because i've got everything to film i have stuff to film over the bank holiday weekend and i didn't want to miss out on the trip so i have packed it all and i'm gonna do it awesome there so i'm sure that'd be fine but yeah this is the fit <laughs> very random um but i guess now would be a good time to tell you that i actually had a little bit of an incident in my car and i don't have it right now um it's been taken away to get fixed so i have a courtesy car which i'm not particularly keen on but my dad absolutely loves it but it's pretty quick of me to say i'm not keen because i haven't actually driven it yet but dad has insisted that we take it with us this weekend to norfolk uh despite the fact we're also taking mum's car so um it's full electric so he's like buzzing uh so i will also show you that i'm very excited to drive it actually i don't think he's gonna make me drive it there i hope not i mean i can but you know it's a bit odd getting in new cars isn't it like when i was in australia and i drove a different car i was just a bit thrown off anyway i'm gonna be late so <laughs> and they're gonna get annoyed at me so i'm going to finish packing up my bits and get it all in the car. This is my dinner that I made for the road. I made one of the other pizza crumbs pizzas. I put the other dough in the freezer, so hopefully it'll be fine. But yeah, these look amazing. I put like double everything because why not? Like, actually, why not? So yeah, I'm gonna sit and nibble these in the car. I've got some kitchen roll in my pocket. Uh, I need to grab some water though. So welcome to my new car. Do you know what? I take it back. It's so spacious. I actually really like it. I'm sure dad will uh, tell you all about it because he's obsessed. I'm just, do you know what, I would really like an electric car, but what puts me off is how expensive they are. Like, I love my car, but it's getting to the point where I need to change it. But they're so expensive. Do you want to tell my friends about the car? Okay, <laughs> so we are in a Seat Me new 2021 it's model. brand new. Brand spanker. Yeah. Back to our electric car talk. Oh, you're gonna wobble. So, how much is this without the grant? Um, so it's twenty-two thousand, I think. So, but this is one of the cheapest ones out there at the minute. But it's nice. It drives nice. We're both it? really impressed, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. It's, we're sitting there. We're both what? We're both over six foot. <laughs> Five foot ten. But everyone on the internet seems to think I'm lying. Okay. Well, I'm over six foot. And then, but I'm sitting in there comfortably, aren't I? How ironic! My camera battery just died. Is that foreshadowing? Let's hope not. I was enjoying my lovely little car chat and then my camera died, but I do appreciate that it's something that is a bit niche. Not everyone cares about electric cars. I find it something super interesting, so I'm going to talk about it in tomorrow's vlog. I won't talk about it anymore tonight. I'll show you what it actually looks like outside tomorrow as well. 
but yeah i'm gonna go i mean it's dark mm, dusky it's like half nine i'm gonna go and walk cody uh around the village just to get some steps in <laughs> i really haven't moved today i feel like so many of you are probably the same but like fridays are just one of those like have so much to do to like tie up for the weekend kind of days and obviously it's bank holiday so yeah i just had like <laughs> quite a lot on but yeah i'm gonna go and walk him and then just head off to bed to be honest it's really weird i'm feeling way more like myself today i don't know what it is i like it's, i was walking up the stairs and i could feel the anklet on my on my ankle and i used to wear anklets literally all the time and then i stopped wearing them and like just walk, walking up those stairs feeling my anklet i was like oh like i feel like me I, I, I don't know really weird but it's i don't know if you can actually see very well but it's this gorgeous Missima one it's exactly the same as my choker but in an anklet i also bought my uh gel polish stuff so i can paint my nails tonight i've literally got everything i could ever need with me i could stay here for two weeks and be absolutely fine at this rate um but anyway thank you so much for watching today's vlog hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you tomorrow um please leave me a lovely comment or a lovely thumbs up that would be awesome um give me a bit of encouragement not that i should need it because it's my youtube channel but you know positive vibes everywhere that would just be really appreciated <laughs> anyway thank you for watching i'll see you in the morning good night